going to embed a form onto a website. Now, this doesn't just apply to Zoho. It can be applied to any type of form builder or website, but we are using Zoho in this tutorial. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is decide, okay, so we're going to create a contact form and we want to create that form in Zoho Forms. So we're going to go to Zoho Forms, create a new form. And then also what I want to do is integrate this form so that you can also see that process in Zoho. All right, so we're going to add the usual name phone number and email. But then I'm also going to add, uh oh, that was the wrong one here. What email? We're going to also add a field that we're going to hide and we're going to pass through a value. And the reason for this is so that when someone fills this form out and the information flows into our CRM, we want to know where it came from. We want to know that it came from the contact form. So this is going to be the lead source. In Zoho CRM, there's already a field called lead source. It's basically telling you where that lead came from. And we want to say contact form as the value. We don't have to check mandatory. It's going to pass this value anyway, but we do want to hide this field because we don't want the user to see it. All right, so we're going to save this. You can see here it's hidden. And then we're going to also create an integration. This is so that whatever's entered into this form will flow into the CRM and we want to send it to the leads module. So we're going to choose leads. We only have one layout and, and that's standard. We have last name. We're going to add first name. And so these are the fields in the CRM. These are the fields in the form. We want to set this as mandatory because it's mandatory in the CRM. It has to be mandatory in the form. So last name, first name, and then we want to add that email address and phone. All right, so we've got all the fields here. The other field, lead source, already exists in the CRM, and we're going to pass that value through. We're also going to say yes, trigger any workflows that this would apply to, and then also upsert, which means if that email address is already in the system, it won't duplicate. Okay, it's integrated just like that. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Zoho Sites. I have a site that's built in Zoho Sites and we're going to embed the form onto this website on the contact page. And we can see here, this is where we would want our form to go. So I'm going to add an element and I'm going to look whatever website you're using, whether it's WordPress, um, Squarespace, it doesn't matter. You're going to look for the opportunity to embed the code and then you're going to drag and drop. Now in the Zoho form, if you go to share and embed, you'll find the code. Whatever form you're using, there's more than likely a code somewhere where you can take that code and embed it on a site. So you're going to copy that and then you're going to embed or paste it here. Now you may have to play with the height a little bit just to make sure there's no scroll, um, you know, bar or anything like that whenever the form comes up and we can see it's pretty clean here. Uh, what I would also do is remove the gray from the background on this form. We're not going to go into that much detail on this, but I do want to see, I do want you to see how to embed, embed the form onto the website. So it's there. We're going to publish and we're going to do a quick test as well. So if I go to Zoho Forms, actually, I'm going to go to the website. All right. 
I see my form here. Let's add a user or add a lead. Now, before I hit submit, I'm going to take you to the CRM and show you the list of leads that we currently have. All right, so they are sorted by the time that they were created and descending. So when we add Brad, he will be at the top. So we're going to click submit. Now, this can be changed. You do not have to display this default, um, you know, page. You can, you can customize this. You can send them to your website's thank you page. Um, you can also change the verbiage on this. So you have some, some opportunities there. But just so that we can stay on task, we're going to go back to the CRM and refresh. And then here we go. We have Bradley. He went directly into the CRM. And that's one of the lovely things about um, integrations and automation. Being able to take all of the manual things and automate them so that there's less, there are less tedious tasks to have to do. So there you go. That's how to embed, embed a form onto a website. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. Um, if you want more training, you can go to learn.successfulsolutions.com. We have some free training on there. And then um, we may also have some courses available at that website. I hope that I've been able to add value to you today. Until next time.